In this video, we're going to go over a couple of basic examples. Let's go ahead and get started. So don't worry if these examples use tags that you haven't learned yet, because we're going to be going over all of them in detail here uh, in the next week or so. Here's something to remember, is that all of your documents need to start with a doc type declaration up here at the top. If you don't have this in uh, your file, your file may render properly or it may not, <laughs> depending on the browser that you use. Chrome, Firefox, Safari, they're pretty good at that. Internet Explorer, uh, somewhere in the middle probably. Maybe with the, uh, the latest version or the upcoming version that Microsoft is getting ready to release. But for good practice, you want to make sure that doc type is in there properly, just like we have it formatted here. That's all you need. The HTML document itself begins here with the opening HTML tag and ends with the ending HTML tag or the closing tag. The visible part of this document again is after the open body tag and prior to the closing body tag. Okay? That, that's very important that you know that. If you put all this stuff up in head, it you'll never see it on the page. There are all sorts of different HTML headings that you can use, H1 through H6. Here are the differences. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, copy and paste my text here a few times and change a couple of things. What I'm doing is I'm building out quickly um, h1 through h6 sized headings and I'm just going to show you what they look like I'm going to save my file and I'm going to go ahead and launch it in my web browser so what you'll see is that H1, that's pretty big, right? That's some very large text. And as I go down the list from H1 all the way down to H6, you'll see that H6, the text there is actually quite small. And that's, uh, that's what we want to see. I have a paragraph right here with that P tag. And you'll see when I go back and look at the rendered file, that's just normal size text compared to the rest of my uh, the text in my browser or on my computer basically. You can set up a link. I'm going to go ahead and show you a quick link. I'm going to say sample link for Google. Okay. Here's how you type in a link, and it's okay. We're going to go over all this stuff in more detail later, so uh, you know, don't sweat it too much. Just kind of follow along. A link starts with A. That's an A tag. Okay, and when you're done with the link, you just close out the A tag. Closing A tag there at the end. Opening A tag at the beginning. Okay. We're going to go over links in great detail later. Right now, I just wanted to show you what one looked like. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and render my page again, and you'll see that I have a link right here for Google. If I click on that, it should open up Google. And then I'm going to go ahead and click back to go back to my document. I can uh, link to an image. And that's the IMG tag. I give it a source of where I want to uh, go pull an image from, and I'm going to go look one up real quick. Um, let's see. Mm. 
Let's go to the CSC's main web page. And I'm going to uh, open. Uh, let's go and look for an image. All right, there we go. Copy image URL. It's just one of the images on CSC's web page. I'm going to come back to my document. I'm just going to paste it. Okay. And close out the, this is a, what they call a self-closing tag. So there's actually no closing tag. It's just one tag by itself for image. I'm going to go ahead and reload my sample page. And then you'll see that there is a, uh, an image here. Okay. It's kind of cool. And that's pretty much it for a very, very basic example. Again, I just wanted to show you a couple of real quick things, uh, you know, that we cover during week one, just to kind of show you the different things that HTML can do for you. So our next video, we're actually going to delve down in a little bit more into HTML elements, different tags like paragraphs and headers, and line breaks, nested HTML elements and things like that. So uh, once you're done with this video, go ahead and click the next one. Thanks.